Welcome to The Pulse, brought to you by MDT-TV. Researchers have created the world's first self-healing polymer that can repair itself without any intervention. The scientists named the polymer material Terminator in a tribute to the molten T-1000 robot from the movie Terminator 2. The polymer displays Velcro-like adhesive behavior with an impressive 97% healing efficiency in just two hours. Future versions could even be used to create artificial skin to protect wounds while they heal. A small implantable nerve stimulator made by Respicardia is being studied for the treatment of central sleep apnea. Unlike the more common obstructive sleep apnea, when the airway gets blocked during sleep and causes you to stop breathing, central sleep apnea interrupts the brain signals that tell your body to breathe, making it more dangerous. The device resembles a pacemaker and delivers a regular signal to stimulate the diaphragm to breathe during sleep. In today's feel-good story, Yahoo Japan is attempting to make it easier for visually impaired children to see the world around them through 3D printed objects that the kids can experience through touch. The kiosk machine will print whatever object a person speaks into its microphone. Custom software hunts for 3D models which are printed out immediately. If a particular model isn't found, Yahoo will actually run ads asking the website's users to design or submit the missing 3D model. AIQ, a company based in Taiwan that develops smart clothing with embedded sensors, has come out with the Bioman shirt that monitors your body's vitals. The Bioman tracks heart rate, respiration rate, and skin temperature. That information is then sent to your smartphone or device wirelessly via Bluetooth. The shirt is different from other wearable monitors as the sensors are integrated into the garment so that the wearer doesn't have to worry about misplacing or forgetting to wear them. For more medical technology news, go to mdtmag.com or get involved in the discussions at Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn via the links below. Until next time, I'm Sean Fenske, and this has been The Pulse.